And Alachua County is serving vegan Thanksgiving dishes this year. After her business shut down in February, she's turned to markets, hoping to help people relieve some of that Thanksgiving Day stress in the kitchen. TV 20's Emma Delamo tells us what's on the menu. This is a vegan mozzarella. Chef Bambi Liss knows how to cook vegan. Just look at this big ziti. But after her storefront closed in February, she says business has been looking different. Since closing, I've been doing local farmers markets, doing a little bit of traveling, and um, you know, just working on renovating the kitchen so we can do more food production from there. But now she's packing up trays of pasta, mashed potatoes, and other Thanksgiving sides to sell at the San Velasco Market in Alachua. To me, it's the stuffing and it's the sweet potatoes and all that good stuff that really makes a good Thanksgiving meal. She did all the prep work at the Working Food Kitchen in Gainesville alongside her former employee on him. Liz says it's farm fresh food, growing some ingredients at home and incorporating them into her dishes. I do this for anyone who wants to have delicious, healthy food. And that's why I do this. As she takes out trays of pumpkin and preps them for loaves, bars, and pies, Liz is teaching me something new about cooking vegan. This is a bag of nutritional yeast, and it was used to create this basil pesto. It was also used on the baked ziti, but I'm told that you can use it on top of your popcorn as a cheese alternative. But my personal favorite dish, these persimmon cookies, made with vegan white chocolate chips and worthy of a thumbs up. As this small business owner prepares for the upcoming holiday, focusing on her favorite festivity, the food. In Gainesville, Emma Delamo, TV 20 News. And Jeff